Ake will be there. Oh, Lanham's able to get himself out of this one. How many before? No, he gets the bleed call. He's out of there. CT1 zipping before, but now the Winters Curse holding in place. How's that? It's going to work. The BKB was already caused by CT1. The lose firm rear. How looking for the batches? Will he be able to find it? No, CT1 is able to zip away. Now YJ coming in, but the snowball from Isaac moving forward with the Warriors pushing out to YJ as well. How with the right click bashing him up? YJ still trying to fight for this global silence. Has been popped. How just looking to chase this one down. RTK with the epicenter there. We go with the power strike. Holding How back. The glimpse is there. They want to YJ and he will lose his life. RTK silence up. Isaac trying to find the start with the snowball. Will get it. Supers there. How as well with the hex. RTK nowhere to run, nowhere to hide. How gets himself a double kill. And that fight indeed, they pick up the Abyssal, they go straight for the fight, and VG coming out on top. They'll look for the tier 2 here in the mid lane as well. Yeah, they're absolutely going to be able to claim that. There is a buyback on Gyro and Sand King, and VG might be able to force both of them by just committing on here. They should have the Guardian Greaves ready very soon here for exercise. 10 seconds on cooldown. They just go. go in here. Storm cannot hold this alone. How, by the way, will have this yeah. Abyssal in a second. Whoa. Yeah, okay. <laughs> now Gay how? Well, he's jumped straight onto DDC, looks for the bow. Oh, man, avoid! That's a quick one-on-one -on -one now on how to kill a silence. So down for 60 seconds, does have buyback. He will use it. Sanking, RTK coming back as well. Still running off on the Jarry's buyback. CDY goes straight in here onto FY. Bought the BKB, the bashes are there. Snowball from Isai Slash is going to go. Oh, RTK actually coming in as well, but he's been hexed up. Will be, I just gets glimpsed back there. How now moving in onto DC, he's got nowhere to go. The Glimmer Cave buying him sometime. He's going to be able to lift with his magical damage. The magic resistance is just enough. God, can I believe that? YJ will fight FY. Now TTY, is he home again with this defense that they've managed to pull out before? Now pull it out again. They also take down Femre, getting both FY and Femre, the support combo of VG. And the rest of VG just left to retreat. E home, they, they defend again. It costs them a hell of a lot, but they do manage to hold their barracks. The tier 3 tower on 16 health. The silence just surviving with about the same. That was a fight of absolute minimal differences that could have changed everything. One of them being Hal's Abyssal Blade. I think it was ready to be used on the storm, but as he was about to use it, CTY zipped out, bought the time he needed to not get caught off guard. Still. An open game, but Ehom are starting to lose a lot of ground now. They were getting, they were starting to get a lead. They've lost it, and they've lost a little bit more than that. Now some big investments in there, as you said, to, to hold the base. But they do hold the base. Tier 3 is still standing in all three lanes, and Rax remain as well. 30 to 25, Ehom with the kill advantage. That's indeed a very close game. The fact, though, that VG Howe, he's the one that's stockpiling the gold. 24,000 on him at the moment. 3k now on top of that Abyssal Blade. I mean, what does he go for now? Is the MKB has already been picked up? Does he avoid going for the Butterfly and just straight go for a heart here? I think maybe he goes for an MKB of his own. Okay. It's possible he feels like he's tanky enough right now. Uh, with both the BKB Manta and, of course, the Cold Embrace. It's always going to help him. They have Cold Embrace, Glimmer Cape, Guardian Greaves. Do they have a Force Stab? They do not have one on the Dire. Because else that would have been like the perfect setup. And there's also no crest, but I guess it's being worked on by Fenrir, who currently has a chainmail. It's got quite a way to go, but might make it there eventually. I mean, at this point of the game, we obviously saw VG trying to push down the mid, Ehom taking the better fight. Do VG have to wait for Ehom to come to them, or, or can they afford to try and look and, and jump in? And who does Anti Mage need to be catching out here with the Abyssal Blade? If he jumps on the storm and gets him with the Abyssal as well as Manta. He's going to force a global silence from that alone. And then it's possible they can take the fight after that. Alternatively, if he jumps the silence, the silence is just flat out dead. Like, there's pretty much no way he's getting out of that one. A couple of big items coming out here. Super's now picked up an AC on the quad. RT count is sanky. He's got a Lotus Sword to help against these hexes. He's it for from CTY straight onto Super. BKB popped as well. Lanham trying to help. Global Silence has come out here. But the Snowball comes out from my side, side there. And they're able to find the kill onto Lanham. How trying to work his way onto YJ with the bash as well. Looking for the Gyro here. Lotus Sword has been popped down onto YJ. And now he's actually looking for CTY here. There's Snow coming for RTK. They're controlling the anti mage with the Winter's Curse oh, down on RTK. Oh, my side, side with the punch onto YJ. CTY looking for How. Caught it. Brace is there though. How will live. The Blood Surge of comes out. How gets stuck. Trying to help out the snowballs there. He'll protect how moving it onto DDC here. How with the right clicks, how's actually got himself out of here. They found three. E home just down to their last two. DDC and YJ trying to do what they can. How moves over the man avoid onto YJ. FY still there looking for DDC. Super. Fenrir and DDC can they find it? They will. And Fenrir falls though. YJ is all on his own. Can he find something? He returned the hexes there. No, he can't. Super with a double kill. 
as they take down the entire TV home CG1. Look at this here, here he comes, here he comes, oh! Not quite long enough, not quite long enough, he goes for the play. Oh, he gets the courier, maybe. Oh, no. Oh, how? How? The ball! The official play! No, he's gonna get it, he's gonna get it, he gets it! He kills Storm a second time! Mega kill streak for how? And so much money going the way of the anti major after that one. Such a taste of courier, and he just doesn't. Oh my lord. <laughs> that was such a painful fight for Ehern to lose, and losing the storm twice. I mean, his, his bloodstone charges must be falling. You're down to six now. What a fight for VG. Curious to see where AM goes with all of that money he just picked up. And what have we got on Queen of Pain? She got the Assault Curass. And another 2300. As we get a tower tonight here from Lanham in the mid lane. Doesn't want to give VG that free gold. They could just keep going high ground. I'm a little bit surprised that Hal doesn't go and hit the tower a bit with his hero here until there's like, say, five seconds remaining, but he might be scared that the storm will be able to find him randomly in the jungle with another YOLO jump. He plays it safe. It's the time run Roshan. He's actually up again. There's a double damage available as well. This would be a very fast takedown for BG can get in there. Vichy Gaming. This is going to put them in a very, very good place. They spotted it out. And I don't know if Eon can get there in time. Are they? Oh, they're doing it. They're just sitting around the base. They haven't smoked up. But it looks like they will start to make some movements towards the pit. But this Roche is going to go down pretty damn quickly. Let's see. And it's like they, they should get it here. Eon. They are making their way over. But it's oh how. Too much damage. Age is going the way of the anti mage. Quat will pick up the cheese. Do Eon really want to fight into this one? Hanging around, smoked up in the jungle. How just ate a moon shard, by the way. So, that was his yeah. next item. The reason he bought it was that they got the Aegis. Else he would have got an item to take Ow. off. Revealing himself in lane here. OTK, OTK wants to fight and they'll go for Super, but Super gets the BKB out here. I think someone can field to come out. There's the Global Silence as well. There was the Hex on Tara TK. How now with the Abyssal Blade onto YJ going to work. Yeah, that's, that's moving in as well. I don't think the Lotus Storm's going to save him. YJ getting loaded with Discuss. Oh, 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 he gets Lotus Storm back to Fairy. Manifold comes out there. How finds the kill. And now they're looking for more here. They want to find RTK and they should be able to find it. They will. Another kill for Hal. CTY zips away. TP's out. Will they be able to cancel it? No, they can't quite find the Storm. But three for one there. They reversed Winter's Curse there, costing Fenrir his life, but I, I don't think he'll mind the fact that they still come out on top. And how now looks to take himself instead of Raxi from the bottom lane. Tier 3's already been taken in the mid lane. VG could very well look for two, and E home, they are three heroes down, none with buyback available here. It's not looking great for the side of E home, and maybe. Just made it. They need something spectacular. This might be it. Hex onto Hal, but Warren Punch wise on CCY in this Hex as well. No, the match as well. CGY is dead. He can buy back. He can buy back, and he's going to need to potentially if he wants any chance of holding on. Rubik's going to be back up in 10 seconds, but still the gyro and the sanking down for 30. Fortification coming out. I don't know what Ehon could do now. They need a miracle. Nothing less. TDC. Snowball's going to be coming in his way with Super Blinking Board as well. The Glimpse as well bringing it back. The Snowball changes direction to DDC and DDC's going to go down. The Mega Help, we don't know. He's going to live for a bit of time. I just I know oh, with the Basil Blade on to CTY. Man avoid. It's all over. It's got to be. They're looking for Lanham as well. He's up and down, up and down. But he will finally go down for the final time. Double kill for Hal. Four heroes on the deck. Jar is now back, but they're still lacking the Storm. The Silence of the Ruby. It's GG. VG do it. They'll move on. And E-Home go home. 7-0 in the main event. VG Gaming. I believe it's ridiculous. They came out of their group fifth, I think. They started in the lower bracket. They still have not lost a game here at the main event. They now secure top four. Er... Yeah, I'm sure the Atlas will tell. But nonetheless, VG's performance this tournament, as you said, the fact that they haven't dropped a single game in any of the series. Where is it top six? It's top something. It, it's, even, it's a hell of a lot of money they've secured themselves. I mean, VG so far. I mean, that performance as well. At the end of the, that series was a very, very close one, I kind of feel, as well. Both teams having to make big decisions, but VG, we see them here. What a performance. They ice, Ice, Ice in his old teammate, Lennon. A little bit of cheeky bounce, cheeky, as you like to call it. Cheeky bounce indeed, and for some more cheeky bounce, we'll, we'll head over to the to the Archbishop of Banterbury, Red Eye himself, with the analyst. <laughs> uh, well done, Vicar of uh, Vicar of Pixels. He's finally got me back over there as well. Uh, great game, well played, Vichy Gaming.
And, of course, our congratulations to Home as well, because they have had a very successful international tournament, but they unfortunately do finally fall. Well done to them. Um, just generally, your thoughts on the match, on the series itself, as well as the, the second game. Start with you, Wager. I actually think that Fenrir got time to shine. In the second game, he played amazing. The times that he saved his teammates there, it's beautiful to see that not only FY is getting some glory here, but Fenrir also. Yeah, so. I, I have to agree, and I'd like also to mention a house performance. Obviously, you always shine when you're an anti-mage and you, you're the one that gets the most pace, but I felt like he really, really stepped up his game today. Mm, okay. Winter. Yeah, I, I think he really stepped up his game. Like Compared to his previous games, he didn't really have good decision-making, but this game, he was on point. Okay. I like the Lanham's Rubik. They almost got back in the game with a stolen snowball into the blink out, and he saved uh, the poor gyrocopter who didn't have his BKB. I thought he made some big plays on the Rubik, and of course, Fenrir was super selfless. I think at the end of the game, his score was 0 and 13. Ouch. Talking of uh, good plays, there was a good play at 43 minutes. So let's uh, show you that one because that was towards the end of the game as well, and uh, pretty much confirmed Vichy Gaming uh, winning the game. So hopefully, you can see that in just a moment. There we go. RT County Sanghi has got a load to yeah. save to help against these hexes. Is it for from CTY straight on to Super BK? This is the fight where well. he just jumped in and tried to go really aggressive to get a stun the and a silence on Winter Wyvern. So it takes a long time before he can ult me, which means that Howe is also going ham here. But Storm is being controlled a lot in this fight, but he just fights back after the fight. Finally, the Winter Wyvern ulti just turns the Storm against his own teammate, but it's such a clustered fight, and it's really even one person only died this far in. And even when Storm dies, he will instantly rejoin. They're guiding perfectly in the snowball. Like, yeah. guiding from Vichy Game is insane. The way they saved Antimates with the snowball and also Winter Wyvern, it's so hard to bring down any of the course on the side of Vichy Gaming. I mean, he didn't even, like, run away right away. He was still staying, sitting back and trying to find a good timing. He just come in and cut 